How's it going, everyone? It's Roger. Just uh, don't do many, many videos. I thought I'd do a little haul video today. I hit up the Goodwill. I actually did quite well today. Just a few of the items. Nice Dexter. Bowling shoes. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Some Nike Airs. A couple cool hats. Rick and Morty. I'm a pickle Rick. <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers. Local. I'm in Ohio. This is also a local company. They're awesome. A lot of shoes this time. These over here as well. Sketchers on the end there. Several vans, some hot pink vans, purple vans, those are vans back there as well, some Sketcher memory foams, some Speary slip-ons, some Sketcher, uh, Sketchers, <laughs> Sketcher shape-ups, a lot of shoes this time, it just goes to show that you know, if you look hard enough at these Goodwills, you can find good merchandise to sell and make money. Here's a nice Melissa and Doug. My daily calendar for kids. It's a whiteboard. Really cool. Melissa and Doug sells really good. It's all quality made. Here's another Melissa and Doug. A little wooden xylophone. Of course, I picked these up. Oh, I got it turned. Oh no, there we go. Pick these up all the time. That's that's easy money. Oh, a couple frogger, frogger game. <laughs> ah, Miss Pac Man. I got some vintage shoe stretchers today. Those are cool. I might keep those. I kind of like them. I got these trays today. Just kids' trays. I only paid two dollars for all four of them. I'll probably list them fifteen bucks a set, two each. Not bad, huh? Did pretty good today. This guy back here, I've had him. It's a little lot I'm getting together right there. Uh, Darth Vader clock, a, a wooden R2-D2 puzzle, some books, things like that. Here's something I recently picked up I really like. It's a 1970s David Mann. Easy Rider magazine cover clock. That was a lot <laughs> to say. <laughs> it's really awesome. Clock doesn't work. But I'm a, so I'm gonna list it high at probably 250 bucks maybe. It's awesome though. Thank you, thank you very much. So anyway, got a big haul today. A lot of shoes, a lot of good stuff. The thermal printer back there isn't included. Uh oh, my secret identity has been revealed. There's some good uh, items I just picked up not too long ago. These Harley 10 prints. Oh. And these 3D coasters are awesome. We still got a little bit of things left in this room. The main warehouse now is down in the basement. I did get some cabinets. Real deep, deep, deep drawers on rollers, of course. They're really awesome. Anyway, that was my haul today. 
I don't do any videos because it's, uh, you know, I really just don't got time. <laughs> no other reason. But I do this part-time. Uh, luckily, I have a full-time job, but it allows me to put thousands of dollars in a bank account for travel. I'm looking to buy some property right now. So, working full-time and doing this part-time. Just paying off. I started out really low, really slow. <clears throat> you see my buffalo head up there? <laughs> you really don't have to spend a large amounts of money, as you might think. This is my receipt. Goodwill. My total. You see what I got off? That's my original price. 54.44. I used my coupon from the last time I was there. Dropped it down to thirty-seven seventy-eight for all this. Just conservatively, I plan to make, we'll just say $10 off each pair of shoes. Shoes alone. This guy I'll list for $20. I paid 4 I'm going to list this vintage Cavs hat. It's probably 14 bucks. I paid 250 for it. Rick and Morty about 14 bucks. I'm not sure on these yet here. I haven't looked at these. So I'm unsure. I'm saying probably maybe 15. That's another $20 right there for that board. Games, another $25. Adds up. Now, obviously, I'm just throwing those numbers out there, but I'll, I'll get close to to that for these. Oh, get, you, get yourself some of these mannequins. Men's and women's. If you sell any clothing, it's so much easier than trying to flat picture it. I use totes as well. These totes will go downstairs once they're full. They'll go down to the basement. These bottom one is full. The top ones don't. These items in it. I think the only advice I would give somebody just starting out is start slow. Don't try to do everything all at one time because it costs a fortune. Even though we're spending little amounts each time, I go thrifting probably three times a week. But if you slowly build up your inventory, I think I have about 1,500 items, a 1, thousand of them listed. It seems that, to me, the more I list, the more I sell. I don't know if that works for everybody or if that's some kind of algorithm. I have no clue. I'm not an eBay expert by no means. But I can tell you, if I list 15, 20 items a day, I will sell 7 to 10 items a day. Maybe a little more. So when I'm not actively listing, my sales seem to slip off after a day or so. So I believe there's some type of algorithm that they talk about. Hell, who knows? I'm just telling you from my experience. <laughs> and it seems to work. I mean, I'm slowly building it up. Putting away, like I said, thousands of dollars. 
for stuff I want. So anyway, long, boring video probably. But for some people who are just starting out, it helps. Um, I've watched several of them. You know, you need to get yourself some bubble wrap and some shipping supplies. It's fairly inexpensive. I will say... One of the first things I would get if I was you was like that thermal printer right there. So you can do your own postage. I do it right here for my laptop. Everything gets done right here. All the magic. <laughs> but yeah, get yourself a thermal printer. It saves you on, on uh, um, postage. And, and, you know, I got a little scale over there as well. Digital scale. Those are very good items to get right off the bat. A little expensive. I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for this arc scan. But I'll tell you what, man. I've had it for about a year. It it works like brand new. Looks like brand new, and it's been it's been perfect. I use uh, sometimes generic labels in it if I happen to find them. You know, it doesn't really preference to me. Or the machine. I can get uh, Dino uh, ones in there as well. They work perfectly too. I have to tell you, I love this score on the vans this time. These purple ones are going to go quick. These hot pink ones I think are going to go super quick. And these ones, I've seen them before. But they're pretty awesome, I think. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, I could put up a video. Um, I mean, like I said, I don't do them often. I like to put up the videos of the working item for people. Uh, I think that helps. It helps me if I can find a video of the actual item I'm going to buy and it's working. Hell yeah. So, anyway... Y'all take care. I got to go get in the shower. We just got back from a five mile hike. So I'm pretty tired. Ready to uh, take a shower and wrap it up for tonight. I hope y'all learn something. Hell, I don't know what. <laughs> but that's the life of a eBay part time seller. Anyway, good night. Take care. Keep on buying, keep on selling. Flip it.